well, 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 well. Fuck you, man. You don't know DJ Marty. You better preach. You may disagree, but up to me, it's a fact. You can't run in backs. It ain't no fun in that. Yeah, the sermon about to start, so I hope you know your stats. And if Kev get it wrong, then Rashad gon' have his back with, with the facts. Matter of fact, all we do is say win. Wins when wins, congregation say amen. Trades, debates, wins, losses, the latest news, but Prophet Kev speak, he got him saying hallelujah. Oh, welcome to Preach Kev, Preach with Rashad here in the episode. Another sermon coming at you from Wildcard Sports here on Wildcard TV. Rashad, we is back. NBA is full effect, man. I'm, 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 I'm excited. We say the Warriors get their ring now. That's time for somebody else to be crowned the champion. Hey, normally they say Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year, but it's probably right now. You got all the sports going, man. NBA just tipped off. Baseball playoffs in full effect. Uh, Yankees versus Astros. <sighs> Phillies versus Padres. So I don't think anybody saw that that NL side going Phillies and Padres. So it, it's, it's interesting right now, man. It is. College football halfway through the season. Tennessee just knocked off Bama after Ooh. 15 Ooh. game losing streak, man. Like it's it's a good time out here right now. It's a good time to be a sports fan if you if you're into sports. Yeah, yeah. You can't you can't knock it, man. But hey, this pod today is gonna be dedicated to uh NBA man. So everybody should know me and Rashad are pro sport guys. We we watch college basketball, we watch college football, but we all up in the NFL, we all up in the NBA. So now the NBA is coming. We'll we'll, we'll hold the NFL for a while. My Vikings got the dub. Hey, I, I, I almost died in that heat, but I'm here. Uh, oh, Miami, hey, Miami. <laughs> I see how they be cheating. I, I, Dolphins, you, you, I, I know now. I know now. Um, but anyway, so let's go right to the NBA, uh, man. Um, let's start on to the east side because we've seen the moves that that happened. We talked about, you know, Mitchell to the Cavs. John C. Murray go to the Hawks. The Nets get the band back together. The Raptors, another, another year under Nick Nurse, who's – in my, I think I think your opinion as well. I, I guess I can speak for you, but top five coach in the game as far as execution. Um, oh yeah, Nick Nurse, Ty Lue, those those definitely they might be a top two. But yeah. Dylan Curry, those, yeah. that's top three. Hey, for real. Hey, then you got Doc Rivers, Jane Harden, look Slim, NB on a mission. The Bucks are back together. Chris Middleton is back healthy. The Celtics lost their coach. We didn't really talk about Doka, but uh, the Celtics look good in Game One, and of course. Uh, the Miami Heat back. You got Bradley Beal got the contract. Um, then you got the the Pistons and the Magic with their new uh, pieces and Ivy and uh, Paulo. And then you got the Pacers who rebuilding. And then the New York Knicks and the Hornets who I guess just there. We got fi- fi- we'll figure out what they go- what they're going to do. Knicks brought over Jalen Brunson. Hornets lose their uh, their their hitter and Miles Bridges. And then uh, Lamelo's banged up right now, but he'll be back. So, quick a quick recap of the East. That, that, that was really fast about that. And it was the, the nine seeds last year. I'll tell y'all right now, that's going to be the same exact nine that's going to make it this year. So, we don't believe in Magic and the Pistons. Um, but I think they're going in the right direction. Um, the Pacers, I don't know what direction they're really going to go into. They're still keeping buddy. They still got Miles Turner. I mean, wit- they could be a team at the trade deadline that move people off to, to keep tanking. I mean, we love we love Tyrese's game, so yeah. I think they're gonna probably try to build around him or get a, a high draft pick again. Exactly. Uh, Washington has promise. Kuzma, Porzingis, Bradley Beal is not a bad big three. Big bag Beal. <laughs> big bag. <laughs> big bag. <laughs> I like that. And then the Knicks, man, you just don't really know in the Hornets. So, but the nine teams, man, the Heat. Celtics, Bucks, Sixers, Raptors, Bulls, Nets, Hawks, Caps, all got better. Um, because the Nets added Ben Simmons. Um, so the the question is, out of those nine, who? As a matter of fact, let's start this. Get guarantee in Charles Barkley voice. My get, God. get guarantee. I want you to guarantee. Big bag Barkley. <laughs> I want you to, <laughs> fact, hey, TNT got the extension. Uh, I want you to guarantee five teams that's going to make it no matter what. The five teams in the East that you know are going to make it. Oh, you got to go Celtics, reigning Eastern Conference champions, rosters loaded. Um, I think they, they're they lacking up front. They won't have uh, Rod Williams to start off, but you bring in Brock and to help out with your backcourt. You got to go Giannis, got to go to Bucks. 
I mean, best player in the game. Yep. I still love my guy KD, but I think Giannis right now the best player in the game. So you got to the best player in the game is gonna be one of the best teams. Then I'm gonna go with my next guy Durant. Okay. The the vaccination stuff is out the way, yep. so Kyrie should be there for most of the season. You're gonna add Ben Simmons. You add Royce O'Neal. Similar to the the Celtics, lacking lacking some sides up front, they need to find a way to get some sides up front because uh, you're gonna have to deal with the Giannis and Joel Embiid. So I got Phil in there. Okay, okay. I'm still riding with my guy Harden. I'm gonna ride with Harden until he retire, man. There was some you. slippage. There was some slippage. I think the injury from that playoff series was still lingering on, but my boy looks slim and trim. Look good. Uh, so hopefully he can put up a you know a, a nice little twenty two to twenty five points points per game, nice little seven boards, nine ten assists, and I'm ride with this team pretty heavy, man. I'm going with I can guarantee I think I, I guarantee the Cavs. I think I, I can guarantee the Cavs, man. Just like uh, Garland Mitchell, you got to expect Mobley to take a leap. Uh, Jared Allen up front, I think the Cavs are going to be a problem, man. And I'm not out on the Hawks, but we said five, so the Hawks will be my next team. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to guarantee Boston, I'm with you. Bucks, I'm with you. Sixers, I'm with you. And the Nets, I'm with you. You said Cavaliers. I'm with you, but I'm not going to guarantee Cavaliers. I'm going to guarantee you. I don't care what nobody say. The goddamn Toronto Raptors. We the North. I the re- <laughs> and, 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 and the reason, man, is just the – the, the, the same thing, like, it's the reason why they're still here. They lose Kawhi, still here. Lost um, Gasol, still here. Lost Ibaka, still here. Like, Siakam is a locked-in all-star. That's locked in. Like, you know how, like, we, we know Giannis is locked in first NBA? Yeah, we're going to lock in Siakam all-star. You got um, Scotty Bourne, Scotty Bourne ready to get, right. So he's getting better every year. If you, if you, if you say mobile takes a leap, Barnes got to take it too. Uh, Van, Fred Van Fleet, consistent. Uh, day in day out guy Gary Trent, who's a pro, uh, he provide a, for this for this NBA is going in with a lot of shooting. He provides that, and the Raptors are the longest they longest, they longest hell. Otto Porter come over there. He bring a championship dynamic to a team that already has championship pedigree. Uh, the Boucher's of the world, all the type of guys. So they long. They drafted um Colocolo from Arizona. Uh, so they long. They got they got experience. They they've been here before. And top of that, but that was four four games back. From being a one seed last year, like, like yeah. without 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 a Giannis or a KD or Embiid or Tatum, um, so I'm gonna guarantee the Raptors, uh, you guarantee the Cavs. So that's that, that. Let's say that's six teams. All right, Hawks, Heat. Talk to me. What we, what, what you like about them two teams? I mean, I like the Hawks too, man. Just um, Trey Young. You add Murray. I mean, Murray. <laughs> I'm I'm still mad. He got snubbed for all defense, so that's gonna help take some pressure off of Trey. Um, I think they have to move on from John Collins at some point. But if they've worked everything out, you know, behind the scenes with him, this could really be a a probably a, a 47, 48 win team. And I think that I think the back courts are the way to go now with the way the game is. You can't just have one guy donate the ball, and we saw how. The Heat were kind of taking Trey out of the playoff series. So now with Murray there, um, you can't just make him get rid of the ball and make everybody else be a playmaker. So I think that dynamic is is going to be real good. The Heat, it's, it's the Heat, man. The Heat culture, Heat way. Uh, I feel kind of crazy that I didn't say Toronto or Miami because I think Nurse and Spo are two of the best five coaches in the game right now. Um, like I mentioned, like with Ty yeah, Lue and say, with Steve I would say we named we name four. We, we got to follow who the fifth one is. I mean, based on resume, <laughs> you would probably say Greg Pop. Um, right, right, right. But, but even if we don't say Pop, you still can say somebody like like Coach Bud or maybe Doc Rivers. Maybe Monty, Monty Williams over there. Yeah, Monty Williams, something like that. Um, but, yeah, the Heat should be fine. Uh, Jimmy's still there. Harold has his money now. It's the Heat, man. They they've normally always been a solid, solid squad. I mean, they had a few down years when D Wade was there, but I don't think they're gonna have a down year. I think they, with what they have currently, they should still be. I won't say they'll be the one seed, but they should still be 
around the yeah. the I, upper half of the other conference. I'll say, of course, I, I think the Heat biggest thing is to see how they can move off Duncan Robinson. Um, I think he provides a great talent, but who did who did start last year? Max Strauss. What did he do? Two threes. So that 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 need, like like you know, like you know, back in the day when the the contract started to shoot up, if you didn't have a three point shooter, you was done. You was done. I feel like everybody shoot threes now, so it really shouldn't be a commodity. Like you know, again, you know what I'm saying? Like, it shouldn't be a commodity. Like I need this guy. You can any you can find any. <laughs> it's a lot of next shoot threes. So. Doug Robinson contract is now a bad contract if, he's, if he doesn't play a lot. Um, it was, that's all that can really hold the heat back is financials because, yeah. well, of course, Jimmy has his big deal. They pay Harold, who Harold's still young, so that's still solid money for him. But the Kyle Lowry deal, the Duncan Robinson deal, you kind of get a little iffy right there. But but Bam, Harold, Jimmy, um, you got a solid little core right they brought, there. They but brought the, Depot the, back, the, the, too. Healthy. Yeah. But I think I think the Lowry and Robinson deals are what you might have to move off of. Uh, of course, Lowry has that veteran presence, and Robinson's a shooter. But just for financial flexibility, you might have to get off of that. Um, and they had an underrated draft pick with Yovich. I like that. I like I like that move a lot. Um, all right, so we talked about eight teams. So are we both on the same page that Chicago is the ninth team that's not, not going to make it this year? Because, and and I don't even know if when all when healthy. I, I think if all four, if everybody was healthy, this question would be harder. Which 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 nine nine teams are the team we think will make it? Who's going to miss? And last year was the Cavs, but now they bring it down Mitchell. That should guarantee them a spot. So somebody got to move out of the way. And do we are we both agreeing that Chicago Bulls just because Levine's banged up, Lonzo hurt for a while? What is Vucevic? What is Kendra Rosen bring? Stay first t- team all NBA. Like I, there's more questions than uh than answers in Chicago. Yeah, uh, Demar should still be motivated. I think um you know he's still one of the best twenty guys in the league, man. Mm-hmm. But not having Levine, he started off the year injured. Like you said, Lonzo, he's going through his stuff. I mean, it, it's gonna be tough. They did bring over Drummond. Um, they still have Caruso. You're hoping some guys start to take some leaps here. Some of your, you're hoping some of your younger guys can take a leap. You, you need something extra from Kobe White, and uh, they brought over Dragic. You know, you, but you're still hoping some like the Patrick Williams. You're hoping some of these young guys, uh, Derrick Jones Jr. You, you're just hoping for somebody, mm-hmm. <laughs> somebody yeah. to do something extraordinary to get you through the regular season. Uh, I have no doubt Demar can put up the same numbers he put up last year, which was. Uh, all I used to all NBA caliber. Um, I think he can still do that again. It's just a matter of how much help does he get from his supporting cast because he can he can carry a team. He's been carrying teams for for a while now. But you know, if he can put up another twenty five five and five, get something decent from Vucevic, maybe get Levine back to be a all star consideration guy. They can they can hang in there for the play in, if not be towards the upper half, but they're gonna need some extra that it can't just be DeMar all over again. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's that's what that was scares me the most. So because we saw that in the playoffs, it was just DeMar and they were getting wiped out. So my bad. I said DeRozan made first team. He was second team. Uh he he definitely was a top five player last year from like start to finish. I think he probably had the most consistent, but when you're going against Luca and Curry and Tatum and Book, 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 got, yeah. Book probably got it because he it was the best. First, team. So yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. If I had to vote, I'm going to vote Chicago, and I I hate that it has to be them. Um, but of course, this is this is going with what we have right now, and what we have right now, they're the most banged up team going to the season out of the nine. Um. If you had to choose a team that's not in those nine, is there anybody that was like I guess that you would like to see take take that step uh, going in the right direction? Um, oh, Pistons, easy. Okay. Jaden Ivy, I think Ivy, Ivy or Paolo will be a rookie of the year. Man, Kate Cunningham, let's see what he does year two. Uh, Sadiq Bay, I just think they're going in the right direction, man. So if I had to pick somebody, definitely. Um, the Pistons. I would hope it would be would be them. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the Wizards only because 
Um, only, only, only because Bill's there, Porzingis there, Kuzma's there. They had an offseason get together. They bring over the Nuggets backcourt, Barton and, and, and uh, Monte Morris, who if Bradley Bill don't have to score 30 points a game, take that load off, now we can work on other things. And I think uh, that is a build. Um, I think they have a. I think they have a good roster. Um, so we'll see, we'll see we'll see we'll see if they can stay healthy. I think that's the biggest part. Bradley Bill and Porzingis always be banged up. Because um, if Kuzma your third best player, he could average you. He would well, last year he was like a almost a double double guy. So like you know if he averaged sixteen and ten and he's your third guy, hey, I, I think I think Monte Morris proved the last two seasons without Jamal Murray being hurt that he's a. Starting caliber guard, he might not be an all star. He might not be a top fifteen guy, but can he be one of the thirty guys starting? And can he make an impact? I think he can. Um, let's see with how how much of impact it does without Jokic next to you. But uh, yeah, <laughs> but but I think it's still an impact. So Washington is a team I, I'm looking forward to. Um, I think they will give the nine teams we think to make it a run for their money. Um, I definitely believe that they'll be in the playing game. Like if I had to choose a team to be out of those out of the bottom ten teams that make the, play, the playing game, it would be. The Wizards for me. So now I got to ask this question. Why did neither one of us pick the Knicks? Brought over Jalen Brunson, still have Derrick Rose, R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, Obi Toppin, some other pieces. Why do we not say the Knicks? I just don't think they've – I don't I, – well, for like, one – I don't, I don't think their, their pieces fit together. I'm about to say – I'm about to say, I don't think – Everything don't fit together. I don't think it's the right coach. I don't think it's the right yeah. uh, owner. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> offensive playing style, yeah, defensive. I, I don't think it just. I don't think it fits together. So that, that's why I was going. I don't think it fits together. You you got D Rose and he making whatever whatever. He coming off the bench. R J Barrett. I feel like I feel like I feel like with R J Barrett and Randall. Didn't we kind of see what happened last year when you brought? I mean, I know Kimba wasn't the same guy, but. Then we kind of see what happens when you get a point guard who needs the ball in his hands. I don't know if you like, like to me, like I don't know if paying Jalen Brunson is the option. The uh, one reason why they probably gonna be not, not as good is I think they need to play Cam Reddish. I'm not a Cam Reddish guy, but him and RJ Barrett play together in Duke. They both six eight long defenders. Like if you put them together as a wing pairing, that'd be hard for people like to go up against it. It's kind of it's like don't nobody shoot me. It's kind of similar to a Tatum and Brown, like like two big wings that we have to worry about all day. And and on top of that, they got a Randall. So I, I think I think uh getting the ball out of Randall and RJ's hand, I don't know if that's the right thing. And maybe maybe they play a different way, but I feel like I feel like they probably needed more of a shooting type of point guard. Like uh like somebody who's gonna get a bucket versus like oh like who can shoot threes all the time, like I don't know. Uh, if they had like Fran Van Fleet, I think it's different than having Brunson. Because every he don't need the ball to be to be like great. He can still get. So I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it might work out. But <laughs> I was right. Me and you had a, a conversation about, about, three, about three years ago. I was right for one year, and I'm gonna take that victory. And that's it. I ain't. I'm good. <laughs> I'm out on the Knicks. Yeah, I mean, I just want to ask because we didn't need one of us said them, and they have so much money invested in this team, bro. They just pay your Brunson. You still have Randall for the next two or three years. Fournier's on the books for like eighteen million. Mitchell Rock's on the books for like fifteen to seventeen million per season. Who's Derrick Rose three? on the books for like fourteen, fifteen. RJ Barrett extension gonna kick in next year. That's twenty something million. Uh, like you mentioned, we mentioned Reddish and Topping quickly. They got, they got and they got good pieces. They just don't like they're they're the they're the anti Toronto Raptors, where Randall should be your locked in all star, where RJ Barry is your Scotty Barnes, where Brunson is your Van Van Fleet. You just don't have the the chemistry of the Raptors. You don't have the coach of the Raptors. You don't have the fan base of the Raptors. You don't have nothing that's like. I mean, they have a fan base, but <laughs> right, it, it ain't it ain't the lovey the dovey. Right? The delusional fan base, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, I, I I don't know, man. I just I'm just not a fan. Um, Thibodeau has to be out this year. I, I don't think he survives another year. Um, and and all right. So look, remember we talked about Bill O'Brien in the NFL when he got fired after those four games when he had to play like four elite teams. You're like, well, you might want to even you might have fired him in the offseason. I feel like this will be the same type of thing where like. 
we already know is 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 nine teams that's too much better, like way much better than the Knicks. Yet you gonna fire Thibodeau and say because you we ain't win no championship. Well, <laughs> like it was like they would come up any any reason to say why you fire him. I think he should go, but the reason that they're gonna give us is not gonna be good enough. Because if, if they finish forty and forty one and forty one, that's not cutting it. They're not, they're not going. They're not gonna make the playoffs. Oh, so nah. so are you saying like are you saying like well. We don't have Giannis, we don't have KD, but y'all want us to be forty eight wins with 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 the the Bucks and the Sixers. Like I just don't I don't see that that's as reasonable ask. So you might as well go and fire him now because it ain't gonna happen. So I'm I'm out I'm out on the I'm out on the Knicks. Yeah, by by trade deadline he he could be out of there. Yeah. All right, let's switch sides. Let's go to the to the West. Um. All right, man. <laughs> all right, so. Let's 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 go the opposite way this time. We talked about the, the best nine. So the draft, the we we know we and we and we know the East got some teams over there. Who sorry, the Magic, uh, Pace, the Pace is really the only team to me that's really tanking, tanking on that side. I think the Magic got enough people. They trying to get better. Piss is trying to grow. Blah blah blah. Um, but in the West though, I feel like it's a lot of teams drafting and and tanking for Victor from the France. So uh. Those teams, we can you can agree with me. Rockets, um, the Jazz at the trading Mitchell and Gobert away, the Spurs at the trading Murray away, and I'm probably gonna go OKC, just because Chet's injured. So you lost your star player that you had for this season, um, and we know Man, that a Chet and Victor Wembanyama front court, bro. That's so much length. Come on, man. And they both shoot threes, <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna get into some specifics on each team, but man, uh, a Chet and Victor front court that could be the new Steph and Clay. Like that could be the next shift in the NBA. Like man, you got to get you two wings, two long, seven feet dudes. We can do it all. Uh, all right, so we know the Rock Rockets. Jaylen, they signed KJ Porter. They got Jalen Green stood on the way up, um, and then they drafted Jabari Smith. So they still in the race for Victor. Um, I think they did. A, I think. We'll see what Jabari Smith is. I don't really, I'm really not. I really wasn't impressed uh, um, in college. Uh, when, when it mattered most, he didn't show up. Uh, so we'll see. And, and may, maybe he just might be a good fourth guy, and that might be good enough if you get Victor with Jalen Green and KJ Porter. So um, we know what OKC is. Um, still a lot of picks on their on, on their uh, in their weapon trial, in the weaponry. Um, you got Shy, who should be. If healthy, one of the best guards in the game. So you, you got Giddy. You got you got guys. Lou, my boy Lou Dort got got the yep. bag, the Lou bag over there. Um, and then like I said, we said Jazz, who Jazz and Spurs, where your Spurs gave up the Mur- gave up Murray, which made sense. Gave up the Rosen, which made sense. Gave up Aldridge, which made sense. Traded Kawhi because he had because you had to. So they made everything they, they everything they did. They had really had to. Um, but they they set they set their their eyes on. Victor as well, and then of course Danny Ainge with all the picks he got uh, traded away some pieces, and still got Sexton and Mark and marketing. So he got some pieces to build around if Victor does wind up there. Um, if you had to choose a team, yeah, I know you've been to OKC the new wave. If you had to choose a West team out of those four teams tanking, uh, who who are you who who do you want where to see him with? They're all interesting, man, but just for. Just for entertainment and to like expedite, uh, go from tanking to a playoff situation. I wouldn't mind seeing Victor land on the Rockets. Um, for one, their coach, I would love to see a, a black coach get some good players like that so he can have a successful run. Yep. Uh, Jalen Green is there, Kevin Porter Jr. is there. Uh, of course, I mean, I thought Paolo was the best player in the draft, but I'm gonna still root for Jabari just because that's the that's a Georgia boy, Fayetteville, Georgia, went to Auburn, so I'm still root for Jabari to be successful. Um, but man, if they could land Victor, um, of course, you know you got to still work out. I'm not sure how like you know egos and you know stuff like that would work out, but if you have a Victor, Jabari, Jalen Green, Big Three, you know, of course, like I said, the egos, everybody's gonna be. It could be like uh, OKC with Durant, Harden, Westbrook. You know, you got to work out who who's the best player, who's the man. Everybody got to get their touches. Everybody want to average twenty and stuff like that. Yeah. But 
I would, I would love to see Victor there. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I still rock with the Spurs. Uh, I still uh, still like Red Popovich. I mean, he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. But, I mean, if he was to get to the Spurs, that will be dope. That will be just like getting Dad Robinson or Tim Duncan again. Mm-hmm. But I don't think um, – I don't think it could be as quick of a turnaround as it could be for a team like the the Rockets. So I would like to see Victor on, on the Rockets. I don't want to see him go to the Jazz. No, nah, not Jazz. Hell no. Um, I was that's the worst team to go to. Yeah. So I mean, of course, like I mentioned, my OKC that would be like the most futuristic team you could think of if you had a Chet Victor front court. But my my preference would be for him to go to the Rockets if they were to land the uh, the top pick. All right, so the Jazz and Spurs both made the the well, Jazz made the playoffs. Spurs made the play in game. So we think we think they, those two teams take a step back because of the, the moves they made. So now, who gets those two spots? Right. So now, now we're talking about uh, Lakers, Kings, Blazers, three three teams that if the Jazz and Spurs come out, that means one team is ascending. Uh. Well, two teams is, is ascending into that spot, um, to into the top ten. Um, who, who, who? If you had to put your money on it, are you go? You ride with the King AD, you riding with Dame Dollar, or you riding with the with the, with the tandem of Fox and Sabonis with the new addition Mike Brown, and they added um, uh, they added uh Malik Monk, they added uh Keegan Murray out of Iowa, uh, a team uh, Harrison Barnes there, a team that's Trying to get it together and, and make a cut. If you had, if you had to pick, who you riding with? You would think at some point it just gotta fall in the king's favor, like <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> like similar to like the Mariners making the playoffs for the first time in however long, and you know, similar to the Tennessee Volunteers finally beating Alabama after like fifteen years. You, you know, have. you would think at some point it'll fall in the king's favor, but. Uh, I'm not going to roll with them. I'm going to still roll with the Lakers to be bottom in or play in type of team. You got LeBron, you got Anthony Davis. They 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 need some help. Um, what, what? Before we saw open night to the Warriors, they need some help. I mean, they need some shooters. The rut, the rust thing is already not working out. Hamstring injury first game. You know whether they try to move them for Buddy Hill and Miles Turner, whether it's I mean, my ideal thing for them is we know some potential moves. We know Kyrie wants to get out there. I would just tell them, go ahead and see if you can work out a, a Dame to the Nets, a Kyrie to the Lakers, and a Russ to Portland type of thing. At, at least that way, Russ can have the ball and do what he want to do. Portland can still sell some tickets. And then go take for Victor. Yep. And we, we don't have to worry about commitment level. We know Dame is locked into the game, so him and KD could be teamed up. And we know Kyrie wants to get to LA anyway, so you can just kind of speed everything up for that and get him his extension. And maybe that'll be the the young legs they need to to make a run. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the Lakers, man. Um, we know Bron is in play to pass Kareem for the all time record um, in scoring this year. Crazy, I hope he bro. I hope he goes I hope he stays around a few more years and and goes for like 40, 42,000. I want to see Bron put it. All the way out of reach for nobody else to ever come get. In fact, because there's never gonna be anybody else who gets that same head start. Like high school, eighteen, no, no major injuries. Your body lasts this long. Um, a past first guy still put up this many points. Man. I don't. I don't when I mean, you never want to say never, but I don't think we'll ever see. No, you, you make a good point. Do this, do this again. Was well, so you make a good point because like Curry. All the threes he take, but he he got hurt the first three four years. He had he's already he had came in the league three years later than, like than, than LeBron did as far as age wise. So yeah, now you're right. It, it is gonna be hard to duplicate. So yeah, he might stick around because he's still looking good. Shit, he went <laughs> he went crazy against the Warriors. Um, yeah, this late. I'm I'm gonna bet you I'm gonna pick the Lakers too. So obviously the Jazz and the Spurs got to come out, which means two teams will go up. The Lakers and, and and you gotta just assume Dame Dollar healthy will get them there because they wasn't healthy last year and missed it by seven games to the Spurs. So, but AD wasn't healthy last year and the Lakers missed it. So if you, if you think of that way, it's like okay, with health involved, can the Kings keep up with with superstars? And that's kind of like 
Like, like how you were saying, like, you got to go their way at some point, but if it didn't go way their they way last last year with Sabonis and Fox, I don't I don't know. And you're right, man. I feel bad for the Kings because they actually, on paper, they have good pieces. They just can't put it together. Uh, maybe Mike Brown brings it out of them um, this season, but it's hard, man. Because we talk about the East having lock, some locks over there, but nine over here, we 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 got a, we got a good strong, we got a good strong eight. Like because even the Spurs, Jazz come out, Lakers, Blazers go up. I don't think like I, I don't unless injuries obviously take a, take offense to to everybody's plan. But like, let's say Lakers, Blazers go nine and ten. Like we know Clippers coming. Clippers made it last year with Paul George missed half the season, no Kawhi, not a bet, and John. Yeah. Easy, locked in. Um, Warriors defending champs, Clippers, Nuggets got the rain back to back. Adam back Murray and Michael Porter Jr. Locked so that's, that's uh, we Luke. think Lucas one of the best five players in the game. Lock. Just like I said, John, you got to lock him in. <laughs> lock him in. <laughs> the Wolves added Gobert to short up their defense. You still have Cat, still have Ant Man. Who's getting better every year? So I think we got to lock them in. I think we got to lock in John the Grizzlies. Y'all like man, even though Jerry and Jackson hurt, but they proved last year they a team. Whoever don't matter who hurt, they still gonna they still gonna rock out. Um, so then that brings lock in guns, I guess you know bringing back eight and they they they're the team that has some question marks. Yeah. You know they had the biggest question marks. Aiton, the you know him and Monty's relationship, the stuff with Sarver going on, how does that affect the organization? Chris Paul getting older, things like that. So Suns should still be up there. So, but we don't know to what extent, you know, how great are they going to be? Like, there's a team you got to look at that over under and start asking some questions. You got to, all right. So, without looking, I got to take the under without looking. Just because you had 64 last year, that the over probably smashed on that one. You got to take the under this year because everybody else got better. And this is the team that everybody is shooting for, technically, because they had the best seed. Um, but, Unlike unlike the Heat, where you have the culture, what what is the Suns' culture? I mean, Monty Williams is a great coach. Uh, who knows if he make, if he make our top five? Uh, but with Chris Paul getting older, another year, Aiton, like you just mentioned, like is he want to be there? He he don't want to. He didn't want to pay me the first time. Blah blah. Crowder's already gone. He ain't get traded yet, but but he's gonna be out the door. Didn't pay Cam Johnson. Didn't pay Cam. So so so, and you paid Mikael Bridges, who. All right, give me hit me out. All defensive players in the world: Ben Wallace, the Draymond Greens, the Dennis Rodman's. Paying them a lot of money limits you because they don't score. Is Mikael Bridges going to be a two way, an actual two way player? Averaging twelve points ain't it? That's take like you you, you taste on Prince, just a little darker. So that like so you're not so is, is Mikael Bridges gonna get better? Is Cam Johnson gonna get better? And you gonna pay Cam Johnson? You already let Aaron Holiday walk out the door. You let guys walk out the door. You're not replacing it with nobody, talented wise. They got they got to go under. They got to go under just for that. Because unless you unless you think it's reasonable, you, you, you let me know. You think this is reasonable to add D Book, who already made first team, to score more points, to do more, <laughs> and asking Chris Paul, who's another year older, who will get injured all the time, to do more. Like I don't think that's a reason. Like that's that's not fair to ask. I ain't saying they can't do it, but I mean, Dan, you want me to do it? You want me to be LeBron? Because <laughs> everybody can't be LeBron. Everybody can't be LeBron. And I mean, we've already saw the Booker thing. When I mean, yeah, the last few years he still averaged 25, 26, 27. But, you know, there were a few years he was averaging those 24s and 26s, and they weren't even scratching the surface. So you don't want to yeah. ask him to take back on, a hey, we need the lock in. 30 to 32 from you a night. And with Chris Paul getting older, we need your assist a double from four to eight. You don't want to put that on the book. I mean, yeah, he ain't been like 25, 26. He's in his prime, but you don't want to ask him to, hey, we need 30. Basically turn him into Houston James Harden. We need 32, eight, and five every night. That's, and this hard. And low key, we know everybody can be LeBron James. It's hard also, it's also hard to be James Harden. <laughs> like, oh yeah, like, like, like people, Harden. Look, people underrate what Harden was doing, man. Those was some, he had a great seven year run in Houston, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, what we're we gonna do? We'll take we'll take we'll take a quick break. We'll come back to the West, uh, and then we'll answer some, some NBA questions uh, as we move forward. All 
All right, we're back. Uh, going through the western side of the NBA. Uh, anything else we want to say, Rashad, before we move on? Yeah, I know we got to get to one more team, man. But I want to ask you about this. You know, we were just talking about what Harden did and will that be what Booker has to do to, to maybe keep the Suns in not only playoff but championship contention. So, you know, we always do our who's the top ten in the game and stuff like that. Who do you think is like the next – great player you know we, of course we got Giannis best in the league and stuff like that but who do you think is like the the next great guy like that that lock them in top seven type guy how we always had you know LeBron KD Giannis Jokic Luka Steph you know because it, it's starting to, to rotate you know the last few years yeah. we haven't had Harden locked in into that right. that top seven top ten we haven't really been putting Davis in that top seven, top ten, things like that. So, right. you know, who do you think is going to be like that that next lock them, lock them in guy? We talked about we haven't really had Dame in injuries and stuff like that. Yeah. So it, it is starting to age guys out or performance guys out. Kawhi's been injured. So who do you think is going to be like the next great guy? So if we're going to lock them in, lock, we locking in Giannis, locking in KD, um, how long is Bron gonna stay in? You know, I'm, about, I'm saying like we gotta. I'm about to say until Bron shows any signs signs of slowing down, he might not be one no more, but he's still seven, top seven. So I I yeah. go LeBron, KD, Giannis for sure. You gotta lock in Yoga and MB, so That's five. You gotta lock in Curry, Luca. I mean, that's a seven. That's the that's the that's the man. No, no order, but that's that's the seven. Yeah, I'm with you on the same seven. seven. I'm with you on the same seven. So if you're gonna round out the ten, the pro the, the what you're saying is is crazy because like, yeah, we had we had AD Harden, Kawhi, Dame locked in like those that that would have been the eleventh if you add me three years ago. Um. So all right, so I don't know if we can put Dame there no just right now just because he got to do a lot. He been doing that for a while, and I don't know if his the age and stuff caught up to him. We know Harden no longer a top ten, but top twenty, top twenty five. Davis no longer there, top twenty, twenty five guy. Um and Kawhi with the injuries, you gotta put him top fifteen is probably not top ten. So who who rounds out who rounds out that that ten? That three, next three. Um Ja. Possibly, possibly. I mean Grizzlies ain't been Grizzlies was not like this. <laughs> like like we know the grit and grind, but they was they were struggling to the to, to grit and grind for a while. Like that was we knew they wasn't taking taken serious. Like for a championship run, but now they are. Um, I think John ja ran one of those culture changers, so I think you could put John ja there comfortably. Because, like, I was looking myself, so Tatum, right? Uh, yeah, probably Tatum. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just run down the, the, the list real quick. So I All took right. it back to the guys we used to consider, which would have been. I, I still kept Davis around close to top 10, top 12 if he's healthy. So the 2012 draft class, only guys I think could be even considered would be Davis, Dame, or Bill. The only guy from 2013 would be Giannis. Mm -hmm. From 2014, Embiid and Jokic, and we already locked in those three. From the 2015 class, Cat and Booker. The 2016 class would be Ben, Brandon Ingram, and Jalen Brown. Okay. I don't think we put any of those guys not, probably top not 10, the top but, ten. But but those three right there, that's that's some three though. <laughs> that's the uh, three. From twenty from twenty seventeen, that's the Tatum and Mitchell class. And we just brought up Tatum. Tatum, yep. From twenty eighteen, that's Aiden, Luca, Trey, um, and I, I'll I'll mention Michael Porter Jr. because the talent the talent's there, but the health isn't there. Yeah. Um, of course, nineteen is the Zion, Ja, Garland, and twenty twenty is Ant Man and Lamelo. Too early to call on twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two, so I don't want to mention those guys. Or is it just somebody we don't have in the league yet? Is it is is it Vic? Is it Scoop? Vic, 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 <laughs> Vic might be Vic might be talking. <laughs> is, is, is it Vic? Is it Scoop? Like, we don't know. Um. All right, so but to, all right, so so if you if we got the seven locked in, and I want to remove obviously Harden not there, Davis injuries and quiet injuries got to bring him back and Dame. Um, so if I'm going to pick three, my three are going to be Tatum, I agree, 
Ja Morant, and I might throw a curveball at you because I told you I've been saying this for, for the last couple of years. Go on, Jimmy Butler. And I think Trey Young would probably be eleven. Like that'll be the that'll be the that'll be the four. But I gotta go Jimmy just because the impact that he brings. Okay. Yeah, like Jimmy and Jimmy from the twenty eleven class. So I didn't I didn't write him down. Yeah, he's from the twenty eleven class. So definitely, yeah, Jimmy. A- until we see Jimmy not do it, I think we got to move yeah, him up. We I'm always not, had bro, Jimmy be, like if, I said we always had him like round twelve. But yeah, I think we got to move Jimmy up until he got, he got with a great coach and now he in two finals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I, I want to see him um, play a few more games. He's been in. Well, of course, the 2020 was the COVID season, but the last two years was 52 and 57. I want to see him be a little bit healthier, but he's yeah, still yeah. putting up, you know, 21, 6, and 6. So, I mean, you can't argue with that. So, I think I'm going to agree with you. If he was healthy, Kawhi. I would have Zion locked in. I'm, okay, I'm glad you mentioned this because it's the last team you got to talk about, the Pelicans. All right, so I'm just going to tell you right now. I don't and, – and and – I know that it takes a lot to win a championship. Coaching, a right GM, um, health, all that kind of stuff, you know, championship pedigree, playoff chemistry. Well, all that stuff you got, you gotta have all it all with stars and good role players, blah, blah, blah. But take take that aside. When you just look at this roster and you look at what they got, you got you can't tell me the Pelicans ain't the best team in the NBA. <laughs> like I'm, I'm on, bro. Because nobody, I don't care. We we forgot, and I, when I say when I mean me, oh we, everybody, everybody forgot. This man Zion, he has a problem. It's a, it's a, it's only a few guys in the league. Who who would you, who'd you would you rather guard? Would you rather have to guard Kevin Durant, or you see a Giannis and Zion coming down the court? I don't have to take my chance hey, with KD. At, at least with KD, you know, he's going to try to get some mid-range jumps on the shot. So with chance. Giannis and Zion, they're going to try to run you over. And, and and what Giannis is doing, Zion does the same damage. In the, and just like, the, remember how we, we always say Giannis don't play a lot of minutes? Yet he's still averaging 30, 10, and 6. Zion do, the same, Zion. Zion do the same thing. In less minutes, he'll give you 25, 7, and 3. And you're like, damn. And... With B.I., who's been balling his ass off since he left the Lakers. With C.J. McCullum, who's a bona fide leader. He's what the, the NFL, uh, I mean, the NBA um, president, what the play association. Yeah. So he's a leader already. Then we talk about this draft class that they had where they played like four or five rookies last year who was like putting heavy minutes, who took two games out of the Suns, in that, and they went, went, went to six. And then we talk about Valencia Yunus, who's one of the best big men in the league, Big body, one of the best rebounders in the game. I I don't know, bro. It, you like I know I know you know you know I'm a fear the dear bucks guy. I know you the Kevin Durant guy. But and we lucky we we on the East. I, I, that's what I'm gonna say. Like <laughs> because because <laughs> because I, Pel- Pelicans might be a top four seat this year. They have like to. yeah we gonna, we gonna to. all rock out the Warriors one of the best. Of course you know we all gonna say if Clippers are healthy they'll probably be one of the top. For as well, but yo, I'm I'm buying stock on the pill. Buy it all. I- Z- Zion was twenty two and six, fifty eight percent field goal, one of the highest in his rookie season. This, this followed that up with twenty seven and seven at sixty one percent. Of course, last year was a wash. He didn't play at all last year. But man, you give me this dude looks slim and trim. Like he's been with he like he's been with a nutritionist. He looks healthy. He's been training. He got his contract extension now. Like, if this dude, if we just if we just play it in the middle, if he's 25, eight rebounds, three to five assists, and he gets to about 75% from the free throw line, oh, it's a problem. Because Ingram is Ingram gonna lock you in for 22 to 25 himself. CJ, CJ can lock you in for if he's taking a step back, low end, eight to 18, high end, he can still get his 22 to 24. Melissa Eunice, lock him in for 17 and, and, 10, and 13. And 12, it was a 30, yeah, 30, 30, <laughs> right? You still, you so still, this team could definitely be a problem, man. Like, Willie Green might have a, a serious team on his hands. Like, this could be the team that the Suns were the last two years that just out of nowhere just leaps up. 
And this and and the thing is like you bring it you got a monster with two with with two guys who can get their own shot at any given moment. Like when the last who who like who the last time they had that? Like the the had the big had the big man who can do whatever. Cause Zion can take the ball from the three point line and go around and go dunk on everybody. So <laughs> that that's that's the crazy that's the, that's why he won't have the ten rebounds like Giannis does, is cause he can be out of outside and play a premise a lot, but like Teams that go give them the teams that go like that think they're gonna be good and gonna have problems, the the, the Timberwolves, right? Gobert and, oh. and, and Cat, they're not gonna be able to stop Van Lucianus and and Zion, like because because Cat can't guard neither one of them. So it's like it's like okay, the Mavericks, okay, Luca, all right, Luca might give you thirty, but Ingram and, and CJ can do it too, like in in a, you know especially in the series. The the only team the only team that you know like I said this is. If you exclude championship pedigree, the Warriors really don't even stack up with the Pelicans. As far as like, obviously the Warriors been through the grind and the grit, so they know how to how to win games, how to manage the season, that kind of stuff. But like, we talk about war. All right, obviously Curry the best player on the court, but are we really sitting here saying Draymond and Wiggins and Clay are better than Bi? Right, I mean, Bi right now is come on, man. I don't. If people man, not watching the Bi, Brandon right Brand right Ingram is. He's right. not Kevin Durant, but he's in he he's in a similar build of Durant, like B. B. a long so wing that can that can score at all levels. Bi is so good, and, and like it's like it's like that it's that question when you mentioned the the draft class with Ben Simmons, Bi, Jalen Brown. That might be the best one, two, three since in in, in a long time, uh, and they're not even we're not even saying they're the they're the guys, but the fact that Jalen Brown. Can be can drop thirty five in any given night like he did in, in the opener. Bi did what he did, and Ben Simmons being the best defensive player on the court any given time. That that those three guys you named, they definitely they might not be top ten, but they right there, uh, twenty twenty five, and, and the prop that they they all can ascend. Uh, and Bi ascend with Zion. It's a that's a right. I I because you, you gotta you just gotta trust CJ and and Valenciano to do what they gotta do. And I mean, when you go to when you go to the bench, you're gonna bring in six six Dyson Daniels. Great draft. You still got you, you still got Jose Alvarado, the steel machine, Herb Jones, so. <laughs> cashing out and playing good DV. He guarded uh, Chris Paul and had him, had him on lock. Like these these guys play defense. They play defense. Now you got some bona fide scores. They was good enough to make the playoffs without Zion. They had a losing record. They definitely they definitely wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for the playing game. But, oh yeah, yeah. But they start off like two and like sixteen. Got CJ McCollum, turned the whole program around without Zion. So now you add CJ and Zion to an off season. When you mentioned he got young, uh, slimmer, looking better. If he give you sixty five games, or he give you the amount of games Jim Butler you just mentioned had, I don't see why the Pelicans aren't at fifty wins. Like I had to take the over. What? Like without looking at it, I got to take over because if Suns fall off. That keep that keeps Grizzlies, Wars, and Mavericks top three, and you just said yeah. Pelicans Pelic- Pelic- be a top four team, so th- they can be right there. And I, I don't see why they couldn't be able to be a top four team if not <laughs> located best. Yeah, I mean the the talent is there. Talent definitely um, there. That's, 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 the, 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 the talent for the entire team is there. I think Willie Green can pull it off. I mean, when you just look at what the when Zion was drafted, he was drafted to be this guy, like what we we're just talking about. A lock him in, top five, top ten player, culture changer. I mean, when you just look at the last 20 or so years, LeBron, Durant, Zion, and Victor, they're probably like the four best prospects out of college or high school in our lifetime. Yeah. And by I saying, mean, right I'll, now, I, I, I'll throw in D Rose too because he was a phenom too. I'll say, I think I say with LeBron and KD, we two for two. Zion is questions being answered, but what we've seen, and the problem is, people say, "Oh, well, he ain't play enough." Well, he played more than the NBA has in the first three seasons. So, yeah, the I NBA mean, won all these MVPs and shit. So, what, when, what you, when you look at like the guys like the MB when he first came into the league, um, somebody mentioned Kevin Durant. You mentioned look at guys like Greg Oden. Like Zion has played more than them, so. The the talent is there, right? I think the only thing that was missing was just the nutritional piece. You know, you got to take some some weight off to save your lower back, save your right. hips, save your knees, and stuff like that. Say you know your feet. So I think he's gonna be okay. I think this is the year. This is Pelicans fifty wins. 
I'm with you. I, I think I think I think I'm 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 all in on Pelicans. I'll take whatever bet it is. I, I'll take it. Um, Warriors got 53. Mavericks got 52 last year as a four seed. So if we believe that they can be a four seed, they gotta get 50 to do it. Um, because the Nuggets, Nuggets gonna be right there. Minnesota got probably gonna get better. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an entertaining. Watch. The Clippers coming out of nowhere, coming back. They won't. They were over, over 500 without their two guys. Um, so I'm gonna throw another question to you to go on another limb, another another sound bite. So we just said Tatum. We just we just said Ja and we said Jimmy Butler as the three. Do you think Zion can be can do you think Zion can move somebody out of the way? Oh year? bro, if if he's if he's healthy, like twenty if he if we lock him in for twenty five points, eight boards, three to five assists, he's in the top ten. I like it. I like it. I I, I mean if you're gonna move somebody out of the way, that's the problem is like somebody gotta go. And I love when we ask the question like when someone when somebody say something like, "Oh, Curry top five all time," okay, well who you take who you taking out? So, I mean, I guess, I guess we I guess because of age, I'm taking out Jimmy because I don't see why Ja and Tatum would stop ascending. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we'll, we'll take out Jimmy for for that for that uh, for that purpose. So now with the rest of the show, let's uh let's look up some uh, some some fan duel lines and um, we're not sponsored by fan duels, but if you want to fan duel, call me because you get my money every day anyway. Um, Anyway, uh, let's go. Ben, with- MGM wants you win exclusive. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna say Drag Kings. We here. We we free agent, baby. <laughs> free agent. <laughs> All right, so let, let's go to some. Matter of fact, let's start. Let's start in. Let's start in some. Um, let's throw in. Let's throw in some conference. Uh, some division winners. Let's just let's just let's just let's just look at the lines and see what we bow out for divisions. In the Atlanta division, Celtics, Nets, Sixers, Raptors, Knicks. Probably the hardest one to predict. Um, but if you had to choose one between Boston, Brooklyn, and, and Philly, who you got? I mean, that's going to be hard to pick even in season because they're going to oh. all, all be close together. Yeah. Um, got to go Celtics just just all safety because if, if something goes wrong with KD, Kyrie being, or MB missing time, you got to – you got to go with Celtics off safety. Yeah, they're plus one thirty um, as the as the best odds in that division. Central division should be pretty easy. It's on two teams, Bucks, Bucks Cavs. So we're gonna go Bucks easy, of course. Northwest division, two teams: Nuggets, Timberwolves. Unless you think Portland come out nowhere, <laughs> I'm just playing. Nah, man. Um, Nuggets minus one sixty. The, the, the Nuggets have been so good. I don't see them falling off with getting people back. I mean. That man, Jokic, what he can do, what he can do for a team, him and Mike Malone, they've been putting up forty eight something, forty eight wins like last couple of years. I mean, I, I gotta go with Denver. I gotta, I gotta just trust the history of Denver. I'm gonna say last year it was, like, it was like a two or three win difference. So you're asking Nuggets to take a step back or Minnesota to take a step forward, which would mean Minnesota will win fifty games if that's the case. Yeah, um, like Denver's been. Uh, since Mike Malone got there, 46, 50, 46 wins, 54 wins, 46 wins, 47, 48. Lock them in for 46 or more. That means the Wolves got to get 40, 46 or more. I'm going to just trust Denver uh, to stay within that their normal range with Jokic, with Murray, with Porter Jr., with the same coaching staff. Shout out JB, too. Shout out, shout out JB. Um, Clippers, Warriors, Suns. Um, that's hard. Warriors. Clippers, Clippers are the favorite. It's barely. It's it's only about ten points, but it's it's. I, I gotta go Warriors, man. Um, Kawhi is still, he's still the fun guy. He's still one of my my favorite players, but low management with him. Um, possible low management with, with Paul George. Let's see what. I mean, we still think John. He's not going to be an All Star, but we still think John Wall got a lot left in the tank. He come off the bench with Reggie Jackson still starting. The Clippers are deep as hell. Yeah, I, I think that's probably why they had them slightly favorite. But the Warriors are just as deep too. And I mean, we didn't really get into the Draymond stuff, but I don't think that had any bearing on this. I don't but think it will. I, I think Warriors have to be the safest pick, man. I think because even with them. Maybe Clay gets low managed. Um, I'm about to say maybe if you, maybe maybe Draymond gets low managed. There are some rumors that Draymond may get traded. I don't I don't think the Warriors gonna blow it up. I think they'll want to try it. Yeah, I, I was I would say so. I think I will lean Clippers 
only because they have to they have they have to prove it. I don't like the Warriors don't have to prove anything no more. Like I mean, like as far as like they they get they, they get the three seed, they get it. they get the five seed, they get it. You got to beat us in seven, regardless. I think I think with the Warriors don't have to they 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 kind of like we gonna I think they say it best like Curry gonna play the young guys, trust them more because in playoff time. I, I, they they gonna need him because Clay Clay oh, yeah. Clay's not getting better, Draymond not getting better, Curry's staying high at his prime level, but the two main guys are not the two other core guys not getting better. Iggy's old and not even playing. Um, Wiggins Wiggins is Wiggins, Jordan Poole is Jordan Poole. So and they both got paid. So I can see why. And he, you're basically saying Curry is so much better than so much is so much better that Kawhi and Paul George can't keep up. It's kind of like it, it'll be very close. So either or, I think you'll be okay. Um, obviously, you got pick. You got pick one, but uh, I, I get your point there. Southeast division. You got Miami. You got Atlanta. Um, I would think I, would, I think Miami will be safer because I think if Hawks, if Miami lose Jimmy Butler, as you've seen the last two seasons, it don't matter. They still a good culture. As long as he don't, as long as he don't miss the whole season, they can they can win games. Well, the Hawks case, if they lose Trey Young, I don't think they're a good team at all. Like so, you know, without without with you know you know when, when you make these these season long bets, you gotta think of every scenario. Yeah. Can they can they withstand a Trey Young injury? Trey, can they withstand injuries, Murray? Kind of stuff. Can can you withstand that? So I think Miami probably the safest one at minus one fifty. That's that's pretty pretty good odds. Yeah, Miami for for my two reasons they've proven it. They've had multiple guys out the last couple of years. They've withstood almost. Hey, we, we drafted this guy. We brought this guy on in free agency. This guy got injured. Now this guy's injured. This guy's injured. Oh, he's back now. They withstood it all and still won the division. And the second reason is they got a better coach. I mean, we like Nick McMillan, but, but he I mean, spoke. yeah, he, he, he's not, not spoke. Only been out the first round of playoffs twice. Uh, Yeah, you got to go Miami. All right. Well, here we go. This this division right here, this this though this this is probably the hardest one. This is just hard as Atlantic, Memphis, Dallas, or our favorite New Orleans. New Orleans at plus three fifty. Uh, for the odds, you got to go New New Orleans because uh, the Dallas is probably the favorite. So if you're uh, looking, Gri- the- Grizzlies is the favorite plus one hundred five. They all plus money, plus one hundred five Grizzlies, plus one forty five Dallas, plus three fifty Pelicans. Grizzlies being the favorite with no Jaron Jackson, I don't, I'm not rocking with that. That he's a key piece to that team. Um, I think the favorite is probably the Mavs, but I'm, I'm rolling with. I'm all in, bro. Pelicans. Hey, I'm about to say we we throw. <laughs> hey, we if we if we just take out we take out Warriors because we don't know. We're talking about uh fifty dollars get get us eighteen hundred. With yeah. with the uh, and that's. That's uh Boston Celtics, Bucks, Nuggets, Heat, Pelicans. Because like roster wise, the the Mavs roster isn't the strongest. It's basically Luca or Bus, and the um, and, and that's that's fine for a regular season because it's eighty two games. So you know guys shooting threes and getting up and down, you can catch anybody all on a different night. So the Mavs playing style added Christian Woods, rather Jaden um Hardy. Still got your shooters, you know, Kleber, Reggie Bullock, Tim Hardaway, then with it. For a regular season, they'll be okay. But, I mean, the depth, the talent, and the upside of Pelicans, at those odds, you got to take it. Yeah, you gotta I, take I, it. I'm about to say, so let's just say we did the Celtics, Bucks, Nuggets, and Heat alone. That same 50 give us $381, and we add Pelicans that give us to 1800 that's how big of a di- that's how big of a jump that is. No, so no plus us that plus three fifty. I'm about to say, hey, low key, bro. We both we going fifty a piece. Go put fifty on one parlay without Pelicans and gonna add Pelicans on one of them. <laughs> might, might be the move. Go throw a thousand on Pelicans. Just go on. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we, we in there. Oh man, that's funny. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on to something else. Let, let's move on to um, uh, probably, probably more like when. Uh, you know what? Let's go. You want going um to make playoffs? Let's see. I mean, the odds on that shouldn't even be that crazy because I think we already kind of went over like just. I'm about to say the so they, kind yeah. of in. like like the Bulls may have like some decent odds. I'm about to say let's who has who has a good odds. So obviously you're right. So I won't even have 
No, it's because people are just gonna think the Lakers just get in. All right, so here we go. Um, so you can you can put together you can pick together a parlay. Um, probably you can choose up the eight selections. All right, so we know Boston's my, minus forty five thousand. I mean, forty five hundred. Not not doing it. Bucks thirty hundred. Uh, Nets minus eighteen hundred. Six is minus a thousand. So we know that's not those. those and we, we, the, I guarantee. Look, I guarantee he's Boston, Bucks, Nets. We said six. That's the top four. You said you said Cavs. They're minus three ten. I said Raptors minus two fifty. So I say we we pick those two. Those are those are guarantees. We got Hawks at minus two ten. The Bulls at my low key. We can make easy money. We know the Magic not making it. The Pistons not making it. The Hornets not. The Knicks not. Like we know the the four spots are gonna be gone. If we just put money on the entire East, I'm just going to without Hawks and Bulls. No, that's not good. Never mind. I thought, no, I I thought because good. of the, the top four odds are so low. You probably you, 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 you probably you probably got to add the Hawks on there. So if we do Heat, Cavs. Raptors Hawks. And we say Bulls going to miss. That's plus 215. Cavs, Raptors, Heat, Hawks. It's not bad. Let's look at the West to see if uh we can ask them on the West side over here. The Suns are minus 4,500. They should not be the lock, the lock of the lockest in the West. I'm sorry. I mean, they, they're still banking on the talent. You still, Aiden, you, you think Aiden may take a leap. Booker still gonna be Booker. You think you can get one more elite year out of Chris Paul? So and, and that's regular season too. You know, eight yeah. two games that can kind of weed itself out. So they don't have they they don't have the teams that's tanking on here for Victor, except the Jazz. Jazz on here at plus eighteen hundred. We don't believe we don't believe in that. Um, Suns minus forty five hundred. Clippers minus twenty two. Warriors minus eighteen. Nuggets minus twelve hundred. So we're not gonna worry about them. Grizzlies minus six fifty, easy. Dallas minus five ninety, easy. So we have to add our boys on here. Minus two thirty, Pelicans. And T Wolves minus three fifty five. Yeah, don't, they give us a six. Locks. <laughs> they give us a six leg parlay: Cavs, Raptors, Heat, Hawks, Pelicans, Timberwolves at f- plus four seventy nine. Unless you think the Bulls are going to be close, like if we think the Bulls are, like, if you want to, like, are we? Are we certain? Oh, no. are we, it, it's gonna end up on Levine, man. Yeah, I'm about to say so. I don't think Cavs miss it because Mitchell will lock him in. Raptors are too good. Heat are too good. So and Pelicans, we all in Minnesota. Made a playoff last year. Added an All Star in. So yeah, they got- so unless you, unless you don't believe in the Hawks, that's plus four seventy nine. That's I feel like that's a lot. We might, yeah. we might go put our money together. We might go put our money together. Fifty dollars bring us two forty. We might go put our money together for that one. It's pretty. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Uh, that's, pretty, that's, that's pretty good. All right, and then the last thing we'll, we'll do. Last thing we'll do. We'll talk about. Um. Uh. Well, last thing that we do as far as betting wise is uh, regular season total. Any any team you want to look at, we'll do. We'll do two teams a piece, and we'll we'll keep it moving. Two teams a piece. Uh, g- give me a team. You give me the team you want to know about. Uh, let me see what the Cavs um, win total is. Cavs win total is forty seven and a half. At the last season. Winning uh, forty four games, you're basically asking Mitchell to bring four wins. That's that's doable. All right. Um, so if I'm gonna pick a team, I told y'all I want to see what the Suns line is. I'm gonna take the under without looking. It's fifty three. They won sixty four games. Do they drop off twelve wins? If the Clippers coming back, the guy like if, if we assume the Pelicans coming back, they all send up. I'll probably be inclined to take the under fifty three. I don't believe in them. I, I mean, I got to put money in my my mouth is. I just don't. I don't believe that they're going to. I be mean, good. fifty three is actually saying top four team in the in the West. And I don't. I don't believe that. So I'll take. I'll take the under. All right. Who else you got? Because last year, Suns won sixty four, Grizzlies fifty six, Warriors fifty three, Mavs fifty two, and then Jazz were right there at forty nine, Nuggets at forty eight. Fifty three is the top four team in in the West. And I think the Warriors stay, Mavericks stay, Grizzlies stay because of the culture. And John Rant is not hurt. We believe in the Pelicans. The top four. I, I, we got we, based off of what we're saying. I, I got to go under. So I'm gonna go under. Um, under for that. All right. Who, uh, another team you got? Let me see the Blazers. Okay. Okay. Uh, Portland Trail Blazers at over under thirty nine and a half. Last year they last year they won how many games? 
They won 27. 27. So with a healthy Dame. Added uh, Jeremy Grant. Grant and this, the draft uh, from Kentucky. Uh, Sharp. Yeah, Shaden Sharp. Do they get, do they get better? Know. I don't know if he's going to play because he got hurt in um, with some league. No, he played he play preseason game. He played preseason okay, game. Okay, okay. Yeah, they um add Jeremy Grant, Paige Simons, add Gary Payton the second. You still have Nurkic, Josh Hart. That's good. Uh, that's, I mean, that's, that's not that's not for a regular season team. They may be straight. You know, if they get off to a decent start, they could probably play get to forty. But it's it's a bit I would personally avoid because if it goes wrong, it's, <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah, it's looking at all right. They may just say all right, Dane. It's been a good run. We're gonna move you. Yeah. Uh, to get forty wins uh, plus one ten under is minus one thirty four. Um, if I'm gonna take another one, I'm my last team I want to look at without Z with the number. I probably want I probably want to see where. You know what? I, I'm a I'm a follow I'm a follow this. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Washington. That's another team I believe in. Um, they're at thirty five and a half. Ah, they had thirty five last year. They won thirty five last year. So That's, basically, it'd be the same team or better with. Porzingis and Bill, there together to start the season off. I bet the a, a, a second year coach you brought over the Nuggets backcourt. Uh, I say Porzingis, if Porzingis can can just just be upright because he didn't he didn't play a whole lot last year. I mean he's still it feels like Porzingis been around for forever, but he's only like twenty seven, twenty eight. So in NBA you can combine NFL you can't combine these as parlays, but in NBA you can. So. Cavaliers over, Suns under, and over for Wizards. Fifty dollars, bring us three fourteen. Wizards plus plus one ten. I, I mean plus one hundred. I, I don't see why they wouldn't get thirty six. The East, the East, sorry, but they can be. Yeah, they, they should be okay to they get. Be, they, they, they should be trending towards five hundred ball. I mean. Right. Like the roster isn't the most elite roster, but if you think all right, Bill is an all star. Porzingis could be even possibly French All Star. Like if he if he continues doing what he's doing, you know, twenty two and eight, uh, two blocks, and Kuzma can give you something. Plus your your other guys, you would think they should be close to a five hundred ball club. New Orleans at forty six and a half. By the way, over. I'm, I'm taking that. I'm taking that over. Fifty dollars wins six forty five. New Orleans should win forty eight to fifty five games with the, with their talent. Forty eight to fifty five. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. All right, last part we go. We got a few minutes left. Man is uh, predicting right now, and we got time to change in the season. Uh, who you who you got in your Western Conference Finals, Eastern Conference Finals, and who you got making it out? And we get on out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going uh, Warriors, Clippers for the West. I think the Clippers make the finals this year. I think they got a lot to prove, and they were the last team to beat the Warriors before the Warriors dynasty started. Um, I know the Warriors locked up everybody with their contracts, and people think they're going to be the next team for the next couple of years, but I think this four title was the end of their run. I know so that's, a lot, that's a long way to forecast, but we teams don't really run it for too, too long, but uh, I'm gonna go with the Clippers to make the finals, and then I'm gonna go with the Bucks on the East to make the finals. I think Giannis gets back. Normally, the best player in the East wins the East, so he's the best player. If he's upright, he should win the East. I want to say the Nets, but uh, I just can't today. Get some size up front. All right, I'm going um, in the East. I'm going Milwaukee Bucks um, versus the Sixers in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, NB has has to be the man on a mission to get that monkey off his back that he that he they can't get over the hump. Hard and looking better, um, but I'm with you. I'm taking the Bucks to advance um, into they the took, finals. Bro, they took Austin to seven without Middleton. Yeah, without Middleton. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, yeah so Middleton plays is a different story. Um, in the West, uh, I think I have to agree, but I think it's gonna be Clippers versus Maps. I think you. Are, I'm agreeing with you on the Warriors run is not going to last long. I think that was the last run. And on top of that, Draymond just punched somebody. Talk about contracts. Talk about playing with LeBron. All that's dapping LeBron up in the middle of the game. Like that's just that's all. That's a little weird to me, bro. Like, and, and I know winning solves all, but I don't think this is a Michael Jordan last dance. I think that was the last dance last year. Uh, so I'm going Mavericks and Clippers. But I'm going Clippers as well. So we got the same NBA Finals. But I think Matt, I think Luke will take him to seven. 
So my he that's been the matchup the last couple of years. So, like yeah. Luca always gives them a, a a tough battle. A tough battle, but because it's Kawhi and Paul George, it I just don't think they can. You know, I, I don't think you can win over and John Wall, Covington, Powell. These motherfuckers are deep. <laughs> this team is deep, and we already said Ty Lue. One of the best coaches in the game, so uh, I think he's he'll, he'll he's a much better coach than Jake Kidd on that part. So, um, give me give me Clippers, give me Bucks. Who you got to who you got to win it all? Kawhi, Paul George, or, or Giannis? I'm, I'm going with the Clippers, but the thing about it, man, it seems like every year from the time they've had like the Lock City crew and everything, and they were even remotely considered a favorite they or a lock to you know, do something, they always underachieve like. Uh, the bubble year, we thought they were going to do something. Knocked out in seven, lost a 3 1 lead. Uh, of course, Kawhi got hurt when they were playing the Jazz, but whenever they're something just always seems to go wrong. I'm hoping this year they can break that, and um, this will kind of solidify Ty Lue for sure. For sure, I mean, of course, the Cleveland thing, I think that did it, but uh, to win the title with this team that has been allergic to prosperity, as Stephen A would say, um, I think the Clippers take it. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Bucks. I think Giannis gets two, and that that'll submit him as the best player ever in Milwaukee. Got got overthrow. I mean, he'll overthrow Cream eventually anyway because Cream left. But that'll overthrow it right then. Um, and I want I want the champs to lose. I want the Bucks who won who won the championship to lose healthy. Because I, I, I you know are they the one here wonder? I don't know because they just like the uh like the Heat. They can't really do no more adding to. They can't get no better because they're losing people. Uh, pay everybody paid, so you, you only got what you got, and you got to be able to capitalize more than once. Hopefully, um, in the in the, at least get there more than once. So we'll see. Um, I'm with you, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm, I'm going with them as well. Um, so that that's our NBA show, man. We went long per day, but hey, it's a good show. We we we, we haven't gone uh this long before, so. Um, but I mean, we probably go. We probably won't talk about NBA for a while to probably Christmas again, just because yeah. it's when it's first started. You got to get some things to shake out. So, barring something major happening, we probably won't dig too too, too deep, deep into the NBA. So, you know, we kind of had to go ahead and get some stuff out there because right now the NFL is a uh, mid season form. Damn, Russell Wilson, my boy. But you know, we, we'll we'll kind of be really deep diving on NFL for the most part. But we'll still sprinkle in some. Some NBA talk here and there. Yeah, uh, I about to say uh, as y'all listen to me right now, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm hoping uh, my parlay hits. Uh, game uh, game one, d- day one of the NBA. I had Pistons money, uh, Grizzlies money, and Wizards, and all three are winning right now. If we stop the count right now, we'll see in the next <laughs> five minutes if they, if I win. So. Hopefully I'll be a rich man. Y'all, y'all, y'all peep into those scores and see if your boy won some money on that. Um, so till uh next time, man, uh preach care, preach, we shot. We out.